So we got the Savage Access 2 Precision a couple months ago, and everybody keeps asking if it's a good long range rifle for under $1,000. So today we're gonna do a review and let you know. The Savage 2 has a built-in reputation as a budget-friendly rifle that doesn't sacrifice accuracy or performance. Now the Access 2 family has been given the Precision Series upgrade. Savage has partnered with Modular Driven Technologies, MDT, to take the Access 2 to new distances. The Access 2 Precision will open up new possibilities for the shooter that wants one-hole groups from a rifle that won't shoot holes in his wallet. The Savage Access 2 Precision is a bolt-action centerfire with a 22-inch black carbon steel barrel. Its overall length is 42.5 to 43.5 inches, with a rate of twist 1 in 9.25. It's a carbon steel matte black receiver, and the stock is OD Green Black Matte Aluminum. Our scoring system consists of three components, construct, performance, and maintenance each having three additional subcomponents with each of these subcomponents evaluated at 33.3%. The scores are then tallied up and divided by three for an overall rating. As you can see, the Savage Access 2 Precision has a score of 94.3% with an overall rating of an A. Now we're going to do 200 yards. Today's review is brought to you by Central Arms, offering retail gun sales specializing in special orders for hard to find firearms, ammunition, and accessories. We get a lot of our inventory from Central Arms and they're awesome. Visit their website at centralarmsmp.com. Is it windy? Let's go see what we got. It's probably not the best day to be trying 300 yards. It says the wind gusts are at 30 miles an hour, but we're going to give it a shot. was swirling up and over the berm and I didn't compensate for that so we just decided we we're gonna try on another day so we came back out to the range uh, hoping that it was a little less windy and we're gonna try at 300 again This uh, Savage uh, Axis 2 Precision comes in at a price point, you know, below a thousand dollars. Comes with a, a the uh, MDT. Basically, it's an Oryx chassis. This chassis is absolutely phenomenal chassis. MDT builds amazing products. To get it into this rifle at this price point, you're going to be hard pressed to buy it separately, start putting things together and beat this price. We ended up with the uh, primary arms, first focal plane scope, changed out the uh, bolt handle to a Glades bolt handle. The uh, We put on a Magpul uh, bipod, muzzle brake, and we found uh, the Penguin Grip, from, also from Anarchy Outdoors. We found this gun to be extremely accurate. The first uh, I would say 12 to 15 shots, eh, wasn't so great. It settled right in after about 20 rounds. We were seeing some really tight groupings with this gun. So some people have said, I've read that the gun at first might shoot not very well. And this one played out the same way. Some people have said they needed 50 to 60 rounds. This one came into it really rapidly. This gun has proven itself to be quite accurate. I'm, it's, a, it's a big beast. It's a heavy beast. This is a bench gun. This is not for marching through the woods. I think uh, at this price point, though, if you're looking to get into precision shooting and you're on a budget, I don't see how you go wrong with this gun. Overall, the Savage, I mean, that's an awesome gun. I like it a lot. It feels really solid. 
it it does really nice tight groups. Yeah, it's it's a beast on the bench. There are a few things you want to look for though when you first get the gun. Uh, Picatinny rail on ours was loose, and had we not discovered that, with another issue we had, that could have been bad news for that gun. Right. With the the scope, we changing out the penguin. There's a little bolt in the top of the grip in the penguin grip. It, it had shifted on us, and we couldn't get the bolt to reconnect. Right. We, we needed to pull the uh, action out of the chassis. We just simply spun it back. It, it, it rotates. And if, it, if, it run, if you change your grip and you find that suddenly you can't put your grip screw back in, that's what's happened. I think if you get something long enough, you'll be able to reach up in there. And just, it, just, it moves very easily. So just as a FYI, in case you're changing out your grip, you might spin that around as you pull the grip screw out. A couple of the things we discovered with this. Number one, the big tinny rail. This was my fault from the beginning. We wanted to get the scope mounted. I knew I should have pulled this rail, checked our torque spec, degreased, used blue Loctite. We were in a rush. That's my fault. So I ended up getting to do it anyway, but it's all taken care of. I used to, I couldn't find a torque spec on this anywhere. So I used 20 inch pounds and blue, blue 242 Loctite. The other thing we discovered was the uh, cheek piece that'll use an eighth inch Allen. Uh, it's a standard size. So you'll be able to get thumb nuts for this very easily. So you, you can raise it up and down much simpler at the range. Let's go ahead and take it out of the action. A couple of things I want to show you. One thing to note with this uh, MDT Oryx chassis is instead of a typical AR-15 threaded boss, what they have done is they've added a threaded connector right here. This connector will rotate, so if you remove your pistol grip, it's possible it could rotate away and you can't get the pistol screw back in place. If it does do that, you can reach up and rotate it back. I'll set up the torque, the fat wrench, and I'll torque it to spec. And when we were fixing that, we found that the Picatinny rail was off, and that was on that was on Savage. Yep. They did not do the right inch pounds pre yeah. of pressure to, to secure that. They did no inch pounds on that. Yeah. That was finger tight. And had we continued to keep shooting, that would have been disastrous. No, that was just one of those things that you just, when you buy anything, you need to go through it. You need to check. You yep. need to make sure your gun is set up right. Yeah, and, and it's not to say that that's going to happen on every one of them. Right. We just could have had, like you said, Friday afternoon at yeah. 5 o'clock. The Friday afternoon at 5 gun. So um, other than that, though, once we fixed it, we put a little um, blue Loctite on there. Mm -hmm. and it's 20 inch pounds. 20 inch pounds, and it is, it's awesome. We had to recite it in, but uh, it's, a it's a great gun. I mean, yeah. it gives us really nice tight groupings, long-range gun. It's solid. Like Daryl said, it's not a hunting rifle. It's definitely a run uh, bench rifle. But... Uh, I think it's definitely yeah. a, a great gun for under a thousand dollars. I kind of uh, wish they had, uh, it, but at the price point, I see why they didn't. Some thumb nuts for the uh, the, the adjustable cheek piece would have yep. been nice, but you'd be able to pick those up. They're standard size. You'd be able to pick those up at probably the hardware store. Yep. yep. Or MDT has those. Yep. So it's a great gun for a, a beginner and a novice. I mean, and an expert. So we we recommend yeah. the Savage Access Two yeah. Precision. It, it proved to be quite accurate. I was surprised we were even shooting, even with, with you know, inexpensive tool ammo. It was working qu quite check, well. Check out our tool ammo review, another video. It, it was surprising. I, I figured, well, you know, we'll see what happens. And it shot some really nice groups yeah. with it. And you'll see, uh, again, we're using the tool ammo, which is, you know, at 70 cents a round is yeah. a good range round, but not a great range round. You yeah. know, not a great uh, ammo. If you put real good ammo in that gun that'll sure. bring those that'll bring that grouping yeah. even closer sure we we were getting really decent groups with tool i figure put some spendy ammo in there it's really going to tighten up yep so i would say it's a good gun definitely worth the price Arms offering retail gun sales specializing in special orders for hard to find firearms, ammunition, and accessories. We get a lot of our inventory from Central Arms and they're awesome. Visit their website at centralarmsmp.com.